strange peace that we get. Almost like a peace that we don't get when we're comfortable. You ever been in a situation where it was kind of dangerous for the sake of the gospel? Where you just felt totally uncomfortable, but you did it anyways? And you know that spirit of glory that rested upon you at that time? It's an interesting thing. I, I mean, as much as I crave and I naturally just long for comfort in my flesh, those times when I step out in faith, those times when I put myself on the line, that's when I feel most peace. That's when I experience the Holy Spirit. You know, a lot of times we think, oh, I'm not experiencing God, I'm not experiencing God, so, so maybe I'll go up to the mountain. For you guys, you walk 50 yards to the beach, you know. Maybe I'll go, I'll experience them there, I'll go to this mountain. I mean, that, those are good things. I do those things. But, but, but sometimes, maybe, maybe that's not the answer. Maybe you've tried that and it hasn't happened. And let me just suggest to you what, what God said about His Holy Spirit about the spirit of glory that's going to rest on you, that it's during the times of persecution. Remember what Jesus says. He goes, when you're put in front of authorities, in front of these kings, and you don't know how to answer them, he goes, don't worry about it, because that's when my Holy Spirit is going to come upon you, and you'll just start saying things. You'll say things that you, even though you didn't know how to answer it, that's when I'm going to come through for you. There's a sense in which the Holy Spirit comes in our times of danger. In the times when we are persecuted, we'll experience the Spirit more than ever. That's why he says you can rejoice in that, because you'll experience that and go, wow, I, I had been tested. I am one of them. I am a follower of Christ. Wow, there, there's tremendous peace here. I, it, it was like um, a, a couple years ago when I was in uh, Korea. When I was in Korea, I had dinner with this guy. It was such an honor for me because this was the guy, um, do you remember about three years now probably two three years ago there were those 23 Korean missionaries that went to Afghanistan and got abducted by the Taliban I just remember reading that article in the paper and they were killing them one at a time and my heart just I, I was just sick you know as they said they would just behead them and then throw a body out and it's like oh that's my brothers and sisters and this was one of the guys that was on that trip and uh, and I'm having dinner with him and he's speaking through a translator as I'm just wanting to know what was that like? I mean, you were, I forget how many days, they were there for a while under the, the, the Taliban. And, and he talked about the last day they were together um, because the 23 of them, they were gonna split them into remote places so they couldn't you know, get together and uh, I don't know what they could have done, but he just didn't want them together. So they're about to split them up. And he talks about how they went in a circle and one at a time, they, they just one at a time goes, Jesus, my life is yours, whatever you want. If, if it would bring you more glory for me to die, take my life. Whatever you want to do, one at a time. One lady somehow still had a Bible, and, uh, and the guy was saying that she ripped it into 23 pieces, and then just, just, they just secretly passed the scriptures around and said, okay, wherever they take us now, you've got the word of God with you whatever portion the Lord gave you. So when, it's, when, when you got an opportunity, just, just look at the word for your strength. And, and then, uh, then he was explaining how the pastor, the pastor said that he had talked, he had spoken to the Taliban and told them, look, if anyone dies, I die first because I am the pastor of this group. And then the guy I was having dinner with said that at that time he spoke up and he says, no. He goes, I also am a pastor and I am your elder. So I die first. And then the other pastor goes, no, you have never been ordained as a pastor. I am an ordained minister, I die first. And sure enough, that's the guy that died first, this dear friend of his, and they killed another person. And then somehow there was a weird rescue thing, and I still don't understand it all completely, but, but the point of, of this is, is, is what amazed me was he says, you know, ever since that time, it's been you know over a year now, and the different team members that were on that trip with me, they've been coming to me, and, and individually, they just go, Pastor, don't you wish we were still there? Here's what they would say. They said, they said when I was in that pit by myself, surrounded by the Taliban, I, said, I, I felt so close to Jesus. There was an intimacy. It was like he was right there with me. And now that we're back in comfort, 
I, I try to fast, I try to pray, but it's just not the same. Pastor, don't you wish we were still there? Isn't that an amazing statement? That I would rather be in a pit surrounded by Taliban because I, I got this intimacy with Jesus. Like Jesus is so great. And this, this, this fellowship of sharing in his sufferings that I felt there, this rejoicing that I got to share in his sufferings was better than this comfort. Because Jesus is better than anything. And so if anything brings me closer to Jesus, that's why I love watching Britt's message last week and him, him talking about, gosh, I, I would do it all over again because I love Jesus more. My wife loves Jesus more. We love Jesus more. Daisy loves Jesus more. We all love him more. And, and that Jesus, even through this pain, he is that good. He is that good. And these people saying we experienced him during that trial, something we can't get back in our comfort. I mean, why do we need a comforter if we're comfortable? It's when we're in these times of danger and we're, 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 we're not surprised by these trials and these attacks that suddenly it's like, you know, I'm actually okay. I'm actually more okay than I've ever been. And even though I'm scared and even though there's some danger up ahead, it's like, I feel right. Um, I sense the presence of the Lord. And, and I thought, wow, that is, that is just like in scripture. Um, I, I mean, you think about Stephen when he was about to be stoned. Remember in, in Acts 8, you know, when, when they're about to stone him to death, what does Stephen do? Uh, suddenly at that moment, he goes, he, he kind of just freaked out, right? He goes, I can see the Son of Man. It, it's, these guys are, have rocks in their hands, ready to kill him. He goes, this is the craziest thing. You guys won't believe it. I can see Jesus right now. He's staying there at the right hand of God. So go ahead, throw your rocks. And they stone him to death. But his face was like that of an angel because he's just going, I can't believe it. Jesus, I see you right now like I've never seen you. I physically see you when in the midst of that danger. Isn't that true of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego when they're thrown into the fiery furnace? We threw three of them down there. Who's that fourth person? Who is that? You, you see that? It's somehow in the midst of all of that that it's, we sense this presence of God. And so I would just encourage you. You, you know, Jesus, Jesus says, you know, you go. Go and make your disciples. Go out there. As you're making disciples, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I commanded you, he goes, I'll be with you. It, it's, it's really a conditional phrase. It's as you're doing that, I'll be with you. You'll sense my presence. You'll see me there. Oh, you'll be persecuted. You'll go through trials, maybe even fiery ordeals, but you're going to sense my presence there with you. Although I'll be with you always. The spirit of glory, the spirit of God will rest upon you. Don't be afraid of what you're going to say. The Holy Spirit's going to come through at that moment. And you're going to sense His presence. So.